I may not have gone where I intended to go, but I think I have ended up where I needed to be. That's a quote by Douglas Adams. Welcome back to the YouTube channel for Lamont and Company. We're working, well, since the last time, last video, siding's on, uh, electrical rough-in has been done. So, here's the panel. So electrical rough in, and we get the inspection, inspection passed. After the electrical inspection passed, the um, framing inspection was done, that passed. So we are ready for insulation and drywall. Uh, these guys were supposed to be here, today's Monday, these guys were supposed to be here Saturday to do this and didn't show Saturday. Last night, um, they show up, I guess, about 7 and drop this off and say they're going to be here today. It is now 10.30 and they're not here yet. Uh, anyway, so electrical rough in, they've got everything done here with, for the lights. I think I'm going to have six, six lights here. I think it's just what was included in the electrical package and it's going to make for a pretty bright garage. In fact, the electrician uh, made a comment like that. Man, it's going to be pretty bright in here with all these lights. I said, good. Good. And then I've got all these windows for the natural light. So, um, in my opinion, when you're doing any kind of woodworking or whatever, uh, and especially if you're working around you know, machines where you, safety is and very important, you can't have too much light. So, and that was why, one reason why I wanted all the windows here too, uh, for natural light. So, uh, I think last time I was trying to figure out where I was gonna put the AC unit and I decided that it was gonna go right there. Right there, right by the garage door and um, I think it'll be fine. I don't think it's gonna stick out too far. And this is the same location that they're gonna put it for the two car garage, the attached two car garage, because I'm gonna have two, the two systems come in. So I don't know why this wasn't an option before, but, uh, and I tried calling the AC, um, the AC installer to, you know, just kind of go over it with him and never got a call back. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna make the executive decision here. We're gonna put it right there. And that way on the outside, the, uh, the, uh, the mini split condenser is gonna be like toward, you know, one end of the building instead of smack dab in the middle of the building. Um, so they did the rough in, the electrician came back to see what his guys did, and I asked him to put in an extra circuit for the dust collector. My dust collector is a, uh, it's a Delta it, in, on 20 amp breakers, uh, it, it'll trip the breaker sometimes. So they had this whole side on one circuit, the dust collector is supposed to be back there, and I thought, man, if I'm, if I'm running a piece of equipment over here and the dust, I turn the dust collector on, for sure it's gonna trip the breaker. So, <clears throat> he ran a separate circuit, just a regular 20 amp circuit, just, just back here uh, in, for the dust collector. I've got plenty of room in the panel, which is good. Um, the other thing on that is, is, I don't know if anybody else has uh, experienced this, but Square D. I've had issues with Square D breakers tripping when they shouldn't be tripping. And so I, I asked this guy, this electrician, we've got Square D in this house, and I think I had eaten in my other house and never had an issue. And uh, so I asked this electrician to, to use either, don't just don't use Square D. And so we've got the Eaton panel here. I don't know if that was, I don't know if he remembered what I, what I asked for, or if it was just a coincidence, but anyway. So that's a good thing. Um, 